It began in 69, when two Norwegians, Tora and Arne, set off from Norway and drove to Bandar Abbas in Iran on the north side of the Persian Gulf. This became known as the world's longest truck route. Over a hundred trips were made before the oil crisis in 74 forced a lot of Norwegian ship owners into bankruptcy and the adventures of the Bandar Abbas Express came to an end. The accomplishments of the drivers of this legendary route would not be forgotten. And yet, all their efforts would soon be surpassed. For in 76, an even longer trip was made. Hi, I'm called Jan. I'm a long distance trucker. For years, I was a sailor, but then I started raising a family and left the sea. Now I drive for a Norwegian trucking company based out of Sandefjord. I still travel a lot, only now I'm the captain. Well, I think I'd call it a venture into the uh, unknown. It's a good job, and I like the combination of freedom and responsibility that goes with it. Sure, it gets a little monotonous at times, driving mile after mile all on my own. But you know, I like getting out and seeing the world, and that's a certainty in this job, with no two runs being alike. Roads, traffic lights, road signs. Take all these things away, and you're left with just plain desert track. Which way do you head for? How would you have got out of that? In those days, there were no mobile phones. We were young, we bred the bush. We liked us so much, and we were not afraid of anything. We just drove and drove, and everything went well. One day, I'm up in the mountains in the snow of Norway. The next, well, here I am preparing a maiden trip along what's been called the world's longest truck route. That is the Dubai Road Express. Stretching 6,000 miles in each direction. Yeah, well, you think a lot of the desert was hard, you know? It's the whole myth of their, the drivers being able to accomplish what they did. Here I am. Was he um, an outwardly brave, adventurous uh, type to begin with before he went out on these trips to make him want to do it? Heading for the deserts and palm trees of the Middle East. Would they get to their destination? Would they run out of fuel? Would they survive? Miles and miles of loose sand and sweltering heat. You could die. You could definitely die. A final meal with the family, the last for some time. And it's time to hit the road. 